to get a facial with celebrity esthetician Viva de Souza. She's done facials for Miley Cyrus, Emma Roberts, Mandy Moore, Emily Blunt, literally Hollywood ladies with gorgeous skin. She has this one tool that's supposed to depuff my eyes and face and it looks really cool so I hope we use that today. Her treatments are fully customized for your skin and cost over $300 so let's go get the Hollywood treatment. to put this iPads and I'm going to take a look at your skin so that we can determine what are we going to do so here's what's happening your skin is clean we're going to do some little extractions on the side of the skin right off the bat you're super dehydrated your barrier is stripped so our goal today is going to be to hydrate you and to restore your barrier I can't tell you what we're gonna do. Most of the times, I just don't know because the next step will reveal the need for something else. I charge 300 for a one hour treatment and then 450 for an hour and a half. So we're going to start with cleansing and we're going to see how well you wash your face at night. Oh geez. Is it all like washed properly, so. I am very rough on my skin. Like I hate oil and I like scrub really hard and I try to get everything out. I know it's not the best thing. But. No, because sometimes the oilier skin is not necessarily tougher. Oftentimes oilier skin is actually more sensitive, more prone to redness, more vulnerable. Um, you're mistaking it with like thick oily skin. You don't have thick oily skin. Your skin is normal. We are going to do a little bit of microdermabrasion on you. Microdermabrasion, cool. Yeah, and this is like a type of microdermabrasion that's called orbital. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like a massage for your cheeks. Yes, it vibrates and it exfoliates. Cool. But it's not your like suction. It's not like an abrasion. Yeah, this is almost like it's waking up my muscles. No? Mm -hmm. The benefits of microdermabrasion is just polishing off the dead skin cells. We're going to actually um, do something very beneficial for your skin, which is the ultrasonic skin spatula. But basically, it is this dull blade. I've that, seen that in so uh -huh. many videos. I've never tried it on my face. It's a dull blade that oscillates on a high frequency. So it kicks off the dead skin cells, but also produces this uh, phenomenon that's called cavitation, which breaks down the molecules of water into smaller particles and actually the skin accept it. It's extremely beneficial for the dehydrated skin mm -hmm. because you will see how supple the skin will be after. So now that you're exfoliated, we're going to get into lymphatic drainage. I know you were super interested in that. Yes. Alrighty, so this is just a gliding cream. It's a, it's a pomegranate massage cream that has shea butter, among other goodies. So how we move lymph is by breathing, exercising, and massaging, which is, this is a type of massage. We are going to contour the face. We're going to reduce the puffiness of the face. And then also we're going to irrigate your cells, right? But with the new tissue fluid. I can feel it pulling my skin. Not in a bad way, it actually no, feels really no, nice. No. Also this helps the skin tone because sometimes people have like, they're either red or sallow and it regulates that too because it brings the circulation up and then removes the stagnant capillary blood. We're going to go over the eyebrow area because we store lots of toxins here. Then we're going to go inside and this will perform an eye lift. Do you have a favorite like celebrity skin you've worked on, like someone who continuously 
has great skin. Well, yeah, yeah, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Yeah, Miley became a master level esthetician herself. Mm. Rosie Huntington Whitley also like really invested in herself and the knowledge and it's such a pleasure to work with people who just care, mm -hmm. you know, because we can actually talk mm -hmm. about it. So it's so much fun. Miley at this point is the master esthetician. You ask her, she, she could do facial on you. So I'm going to give you a little massage. So we're going to actually kind of like seal all these goodies into your skin. A little firmer pressure. But it's also, this pressure also allows me to see where the problems are. And so note that massage is always upwards and outwards. Oh, wow. That feels good. <laughs> so gua sha. What is gua sha? Gua sha is a part of the traditional Chinese medicine. It's done to detoxify the tissue, similar to what lymphatic drainage does, but this is a little harder. If you can feel, we're getting into these little bumps and those are all like little muscular, like fibrotic adhesions and we're smoothing them. So we're just actually promoting the circulation. All right, so we're going to do some extractions. Oh, great. <laughs> I hear the gloves. That's the sound of pimple popping coming. We are going to use the microcurrent. So we're just going to gently start working on your skin. Oh, I feel it. If you feel the current mm -hmm. in your, on your teeth, press your, your tongue against your teeth and you're not going to feel it. Okay, I'll do that. Hmm. Okay, that works. We're going to start lifting your skin because you complained about like neck and the chin. So not complained, but you know. Well, you did complain. So. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to do another type of microcurrent for more precise contouring. Basically, when we start aging, we have that like fatigue on our face. So that's what microcurrent does. It just kind of really stimulate the muscles. The machine will tell muscles to shorten or elongate as they need to, right? So that muscles will do what they're supposed to do. This is the last step in our process. That would be kind of like your red carpet treatment. Mm -hmm. Very light exfoliation, very much massage and stimulation and lifting. It's been a little over a week since my facial with Biba and I thought this would be a good time to give my final thoughts. Immediately after the treatment, I did feel a little bit lightheaded and I think it's because of all the microcurrents we used on my face. So I just made sure to drink a lot of water, which Biba told me I needed more of and I felt fine. While all the techniques Biba did felt great, my favorite was the facial massage with a lot of pressure. It really felt like she was realigning my face. It was a lot more pressure than I'm used to, but I think my facial muscles were so relaxed after, so that was really nice. She has all the techniques needed for a facial that day, whether you want to treat acne, exfoliate the skin, hydrate the skin, which is what I needed. So it's like a low-key customization without feeling too overwhelmed. And I think that's why celebrities want to go to her because it's not a one facial fits all experience. And also you're going there not only to treat your skin, but to kind of get away from everything and get away from that hectic Hollywood lifestyle.